As we enter 2023, speculation is beginning to mount about the future of the CCNA exam. Three years ago, Cisco sent shockwaves through the industry with a major revamp of its certification program. Even the beloved CCNA certification wasn't spared. The question has been on everyone's mind. When will Cisco announce an update to the CCNA exam? And what changes will Cisco make this time? Will the CCNA exam be unrecognizable? Well, in December, we finally got an answer for when we can expect the new CCNA to be released. Well, kind of. So Cisco recently released its current certification roadmap, which provides timely and relevant information to help keep ahead of the changes for the certification exams. Each one of Cisco's certifications goes through the same three stages before retiring the current exam. Review, announce, and publish. So one of the first things Cisco does when deciding if one of his current certifications even needs to be updated is to review each technology on a same quarterly schedule each year to make sure their exams align with the latest Cisco technologies. Once the stage is completed, Cisco will announce the blueprint changes three to six months in advance along with revised exam topics and release notes. After that, they will publish the updated exam three to six months after the blueprint publications. Here's what we know about the review, update, and publish dates for the new Cisco CCNA according to Cisco. The CCNA 200-301 exam will be reviewed between February and April 2023. Any changes to the CCNA exam blueprint would be announced between May and July 2023. And an updated CCNA exam would likely be published between August and October 2023. So the question I know you're all asking right now, should you take the current 200-301 exam or wait for the new CCNA exam? And I'll tell you what I tell everyone is don't wait. And here's why. First off, these dates are tentative and subject and likely to change. And no employer out there will care which version of the CCNA you receive, they just care that you have it or not. Also, don't worry if you're currently studying for the current CCNA exam and are concerned about the exam retirement date. It will likely be well into 2023 before the new CCNA exam is released, if one is released at all. And even if the new exam does come out, the knowledge and skills you gain from studying for the 200-301 exam will still be valuable and applicable to the new exam. Plus, earning any certification shows your commitment to continuously learning and staying up to date in your field. Even if you haven't started studying yet, I would still encourage you to start today and don't let the potential of a new exam hold you back. The Cisco CCNA 200-301 training you'll receive will still be relevant and useful to prepare you for this exam. So just go for it. Now, when it comes to studying for the Cisco CCNA, there is tons of resources out there. Every online e-learning platform has their own way of teaching, but hands-on learning is often considered the best way to study for the Cisco CCNA because it allows you to actually apply the concept and techniques that you are learning in practical, real-world settings. This can be really helpful to solidify your understanding of the material and make it easier to retain and apply on the job. Additionally, Hands-on learning can provide more engaging and interactive learning experiences, which can help you stay motivated and focused. Now, if you've ever tuned into the channel before, you've likely heard me preach about building your own home lab, and I still 100% stand behind that. But sometimes just having a home lab isn't enough. That's where my friends over at Boson come in. Boson specializes in providing robust examination preparation materials. Boson offers a variety of practice exams that are designed to closely mimic the format and difficulty of the actual CCNA exam. If you ask anyone that has taken one of their practice exams, they'll say they're one of the best ones out there on the market. Their practice exams come with detailed explanations for each question. This can prepare you for the test and identify areas that you need to focus all your studies on. 
Ozone also has network simulators that allow you to practice and test your skills on simulated Cisco devices. This helps develop a deeper understanding of how networks work and how to configure Cisco devices. But if you're looking for even more, Boson offers a wide range of study materials, including flashcards, study guides, and video tutorials, which can help individuals study in the way that best suits their learning style. So with all that said, Boson has actually donated three of their NetSim vouchers and five of their XSIM vouchers for me to give away to you guys. So if you're interested in entering this giveaway, the link is down in the show notes and you'll need the keyword Cisco to enter. Now, with everything we just talked about, there is more to know than just studying for the exam to truly be prepared and successful. You need to create an action plan and have goals and keep yourself accountable when studying for these certifications. I actually outlined how exactly to do all of this in the video that's on the screen now. So if you want to set yourself up for success when studying for any certification, then make sure and check out this video next. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, keep learning.